Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and I'm back from Wind Up San Francisco, and I'm going to do a little bit of a wrap up, and we'll roll photos of um, people that wanted to come over and say hi. Um, and it's funny that so many people want to take their picture with me, so I almost have to do a video so I can get everyone's uh, photo in. Um, great show, a lot of fun. I was there as the Islander brand, not as Long Island Watch as the Islander brand, um, but what made it super special uh, was that so many people came over not because they wanted to see the watch, which a lot of people clearly did because you can't see them anywhere, um, but they wanted to come over and say hi and thank you uh, because uh, you know they saw a watch and learn how to change a bracelet. They were, during pandemic, they had nothing to do. They got into watch modding. I, uh, I sold them their first SKX back in 2016, which is actually a story I heard a few times over, you know, you sold me my first watch and generally it was an SKX. So really nice to meet people, uh, you know, to see the customer behind the name and then likewise for the customers to see the watches because I hear the same thing all the time. Not only am I three-dimensional when you see me in real life, but the watches on screen, they're flat, but the watches are three-dimensional too, so you can pick them up and play with them. Uh, it kind of means a lot to a lot of people. As you may have seen in the open, I am wearing a PlayStation sweatshirt. And you may ask, why is he wearing a PlayStation sweatshirt? Well, just to show you the gratitude and awesomeness of the customer base, uh, a gentleman by the name of Javon who works for PlayStation bought sweatshirts for me and Ryan. Um, we've corresponded with him uh, about watches and Islanders and designs and stuff. Uh, and it was really, it was really sweet, I'll just say it, really sweet of him to bring us a gift. Uh, kind of really cool. It made me super duper happy. Uh, talk about what makes me happy, getting young kids into the watch scene. Because as I may have, you may have heard me mention before, my children do not dig watches. So first off, here we have Mariano sporting his first ever wristwatch. Uh, he simply had to have it. It's a DPA chrono. He was so, so happy. Basically a tear in his eye. Uh, and it made, it made us feel really good. That was his first watch. His first watch is an Islander uh, and a memorable experience you know, for everybody. And then I met this father-son team. I say team, they're not, they're not a modding company, but the dad mods all his own watches. Uh, and he's getting his son into it. His son was wearing a little NH, I think it was an NH38 modded uh, watch. Looked really cool, you know, transparent. It was white, really nice. Uh, so again, getting kids into the hobby because we have to get people indoctrinated in or else the hobby or watches won't really exist uh, within the next few years. So while we were at the show, uh, we were showing the Upper Brookville, which is a new release. Uh, it'll come out on May 9th, uh, so you may see some pictures of it. And while I'm talking about that, I will mention, uh, if you know the channel Random Rob, uh, Random Rob was there. Now, he was there because uh, I sponsored him. We had a conversation prior to the show. He said he wasn't gonna go. Um, funds, funds weren't coming, this and that. So I said, hey, I said, would it make it easier if I just sponsored your trip? So I sponsored his trip, he came out, and for that, he was a real sponsor. He wore Island Watch merch, uh, the shirt, which we'll be selling soon, wearing Islanders on his wrist. Really good to see him, not only him, awesome to meet uh, his, his crew. That's what he, his guys call themselves his crew. Really great guys. Uh, they all came over, introduced themselves, uh, really sweet. Just a whole bunch of nice people. He's got this whole little ecosystem of people around him in San Francisco. I can't wait to see who comes out uh, for Chicago because we will be there in Chicago. Uh, let's see. Oh, if you do remember, uh, back in the Wind Up New York show, I purchased a wristwatch. It was a Brew 8-bit, which I simply adored. Well, it had... Oops, I did it again. Uh, on Saturday before the show opened to the public, it was press hour and I was kind of walking around. Walked over to Christopher Ward, saw the Belcanto, simply had to have one. So I put a, a, a deposit down on one. It will unfortunately be about 10 months until I get to see it, uh, but I'm really psyched and excited about it. I can't wait to get one. Uh, I love all odd things mechanical uh, and, a, and a mechanical chime is so cool. I got to complete it with like a Rotropont or something one day, uh, you know, a split seconds chrono. Uh, let's see, I think that's probably enough time for me to blather to get all the photos in. For my own wrist, if you're interested, I'm wearing the Islander uh, Phoebus collaboration, which is already two thirds sold. And it was kind of just 
the hot release or the big release was yesterday, or I don't know, whenever you're seeing this. It was a few days ago by the time you see this, and the Marathon um, Steel Navigator. Check out my notes really quick. I got that, I got that, I got that, and I discussed that. And that is all. Taz Mark from LoganWatch.com talking about the Wind Up San Francisco Fair. Oh, you know what? I do want to say one thing. Man, San Francisco is a great town. I had a lovely time. No problems with crime, no problems with getting beaten up, and none of that stuff. Um, I'm from New York City in the 80s and 90s, uh, so this was kind of mild. Home, homeless people in the street, sure. But that's like a common occurrence for me, so no real issue there. The thing that surprised me the most about this city is the weather. The weather was absolutely insane. It could be 40, then 10 minutes later it could be 60, 10 minutes later it's back to 40, then it goes to 70, and it's all over the place. And there's a thing called Carl. Carl the Fog, I was introduced to many times by people. And Carl just comes whenever he wants, and he obscures your view of everything, uh, and just, oh, the weather is just crazy. And they tell me that if you travel 20 minutes away by car, the weather is totally, totally different. San Francisco is kind of known for this kind of odd weather. I will not miss that. That to me was <laughs> the weather I did not enjoy. Anyway, this has been Mark from LongerWatch.com. Hopefully you will join us in Chicago in July and maybe in New York uh, in October again. See some Islanders, come by, say hi, tell me a little bit about yourself. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.